at nerd.sutton, can you rank the Star Wars movies by how much you like them? Hello, happy people, Jean's version here, and oh my god, what are we going to cover today? We're gonna do a little bit of housekeeping, I'm gonna do a little haul, show you some stuff that I've gotten over the last month or so, and then I'll get on with the Ask Jean questions that I've owed you guys for two months, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I looked at my post-it, right, for the housekeeping stuff, and at the very top it says, plumber, second opinion. I was like, wait, that was for a personal thing, and I guess I just am recycling the post-it because that's the only thing I wrote on it. Anyways, for housekeeping, just a reminder that I do have YouTube members ships open if you would like to join my channel for $4.99 USD a month, probably with taxes. We are about to hit the three month mark of me having YouTube memberships available. As long as you have three consecutive months, I will memorialize your name in a tile and I will put it up in my editing room. A really cool perk that I just added about a month ago is I started a Discord server. So I'm on Discord literally all day, every day. Obviously not like stuck to my phone, but I'm a part of other Discord servers with friends, moderate a few other Discord servers. So it was only a little natural and there was some demand for me having a discord server a jeans version discord server if you would like to join that if that's something that you're into and we can chat literally all day long we just share pictures and talk lego stuff join my membership for the link the next thing i wanted to talk to you guys about is my collaboration with whatnot i'm officially a seller on whatnot so whatnot is a platform where you can buy and sell collectibles like funko pops comic books trading cards but more importantly you can also get some really good deals on lego now you all know i used to sell stuff on my shopify website website. Whatnot is kind of a little bit of a mix between that and Twitch, where I'll be like live streaming and selling things in real time. So you'll be able to actually see the products, ask me questions and get answers in real time. I'm kind of nervous about it because you guys know that I live stream, but I've never done anything like that before. So starting this month, I will be streaming on Whatnot. If you click my link in the description below, you can download the app and get $10 to shop, which is basically like getting a free minifigure or a free poly bag. So I'll be streaming on Whatnot starting this month for Whatnot Con. What is Whatnot Con? If you've ever been to a convention, whether it's like a Lego convention or a Comic Con. It's basically gonna be that, but a virtual. And it's coming to Whatnot April 11th through the 14th. So rather than having to book a flight, get a hotel, and then have to worry about all the stuff you buy and if it's gonna fit on your carry-on, you can just participate anywhere from your Whatnot app. So mark your calendars. I'll be live streaming on Whatnot on Saturday, April 13th at 4.30 p.m. Central. And I'm gonna have a giveaway, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. Click my link at the description below, and you basically get $10 for free to shop Whatnot Con. Be sure to also bookmark my show because you don't wanna miss it. So I did have to get that approved to make it as least jarring as possible. I dressed in the same outfit and did my hair the same way. So hopefully that looks okay. And in addition to my live stream this coming Saturday with Whatnot, I did get some printed jeans version tiles. So every order placed for my Whatnot channel will include a free jeans version tile on it. My friend Bricklove made them. What else for housekeeping? So if you didn't notice, maybe you noticed, I didn't do a shopping vlog for April the 1st. And the reason being, I had a lot of things going on, but kind of the other reason is I really wanted that Dungeons and Dragons Lego set and I know that I should wait if I would have showed up to the Lego store on April 1st, I would have walked out with that Lego set because I love it. My husband, my husband was like, we need to get that Lego set. He's a big D&D fan. I have done probably one campaign of D&D in my entire life. I, I don't fully understand Dungeons and Dragons, but that Lego set, I think we can all agree, is the most beautiful Lego set probably this year. So anyway, all that to say, there was no April 1st shopping vlog and those were the reasons. I also got the Lego Lord of the Rings Rivendell set as part of my activity support from the Lego Ambassador Network. And I said I was going to be live streaming it, I believe a week ago, and I haven't. And this is just me telling you guys that you haven't missed anything. I haven't scheduled live streams. I still want to live stream. Maybe not all of it, because I do want to enjoy some of it while I'm watching the movie. Just so you know, I haven't kept you guys from Rivendell. I'm still going to live stream it. People really want to see it live streamed. And I want to share that with you guys. What else? Is that it? Okay, that's all the housekeeping. Uh, if you're still here, please give a thumbs up to this video. It really helps my channel. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here. All right. Let's get into the mini haul. Well, I wrote mini haul, but then I was like, this isn't exactly a super mini haul. It's kind of just like a normal haul. It's not like a big haul, but it, let's just get into it. First, actually in my last Ask Jean Anything video, somebody asked me what my white whale sets were. I believe one of the ones I mentioned was this Nebulon Frigate San Diego Comic-Con 2020 exclusive. My friend Ron shore bricks a lot. He actually went viral on Instagram and I think on Facebook too for wearing an outfit made of Lego bags. It's really cool. So yeah, he helped me get this for a really good price and then as a gift he covered the shipping to me so thank you so much Ron I I haven't even taken it out of it it's just I'm like this is so pretty and I don't even know if I want to build it the whole reason I bought it was because oh the mini scale 
collection. And then, you know, I got the executor from last year. So I was like, I want to have all of the mini scale ships. Now, now I just can't bring myself to open it. So let me know in the comments if you guys think I should build this or if I should just keep it on the shelf. Here's another Lego set I bought recently. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this retired maybe last year or maybe it's about to retire. It's not that easy to find. It popped up on my Amazon for retail. Actually, I think like 10, 15 under retail. I said I need to bite the bullet on this because even though I don't really care for the car because I do really like the new Ford Anglia that we got this year in March. The rest of the set, I just really wanted it. There's like the floating cake. Here's a little Dobby, Uncle Vernon, Aunt Petunia. I actually don't even have many figures of them. I have a Dudley, the one that came in the advent calendar from a few years ago with a piggy tail. I was just like, you know what? I need to just do this. If I change my mind, I'll just leave this in my backlog and then sell it later. But I wanted to make sure I got it while I was still able to get it at a very reasonable price. Now, even though I didn't go to the Lego store on April 1st, I did pre-order this Friends Space Research Rover Lego set because it's so freaking cool. I love that it's like the same colors as the Lego City sets that have been released this year. But more importantly, I don't know if you guys remember, but for January 1st, I got that Lego Friends Mars set and this just like pairs perfectly with it. And we get some new blue aliens. Just I'm really excited to have this little layout. Speaking of space, did you guys see the eclipse yesterday? Oh my God, that was freaking cool. I had, I don't know, an out of body experience. I think like I knew like, oh, an eclipse, but it was my first time seeing a total solar eclipse. But watching it, I, I don't quite think my body knew how to handle what was happening that it was like whoa the sun was right there and now the moon is fully covering it and it's not pitch black but it was freaking dark it was a little too long and I was like okay we can have the sun back now I was like are the aliens coming I don't know it, it just it was weird space oh Never mind that I've also been watching Three Body Problem on Netflix. That is such a good show. Let me know in the comments if you've been watching it, if you've already watched it, because I just, that's something we actually talked about in our Discord, in the Jeans version Discord. They recommended it to me and I watched it and it blew my mind. So that combined with the solar eclipse and then Space Research Rover, I'm just like, I'm just in space. My brain is in space right now. Because I pre-ordered the Space Rover back in, I don't know, whenever the Maple Poly Bag from the Animal Crossing sets was up, I got the Animal Crossing Maple's Pumpkin Garden and Beach Cleanup Friends Poly Bag. But other than that, I actually also went to Target recently. <laughs> and got like a lot more poly bags. They had the Draco in the Forbidden Forest. So this is gonna go really great with that Harry Potter set that came out on March 1st. Yeah, uh, there's another little owl and then just another cool little tree build. So I can add Draco to that Magical Creatures Battle Pack set because it only comes with Ron and Hermione. So I can add Draco to it. He has a little lantern. It looks like it's the same glow in the dark piece. And I actually grabbed a few of him and I grabbed two more Maple's Pumpkin Garden poly bag. Why? Because these are gonna be part of my whatnot auctions this Saturday on April 13th for WhatnotCon. So if you're still having a hard time finding a maple poly bag, I'm probably gonna start all these at a dollar. Tune into my whatnot. I would love to see you guys there, even if you don't buy anything, but if you do wanna buy something, if you haven't been able to find Maple's Pumpkin Garden or Draco in the Forbidden Forest, I'm gonna be having them for sale. That's it for my mini haul. Well, my haul, like I said, it was not mini at all, right? I feel like I was talking forever. Now let's get into the questions. Okay, I've had this coffee like sitting here and I haven't even had a single sip. Two months ago, I am so sorry, you guys. At TPC Lego, if you could make a poly bag for any theme, what would it be? Mine would be a Hera and Chopper from Bad Batch. I'm gonna hop on your answer, TPC, and agree. That would be an amazing poly bag that I would totally want. Honestly, it would be really cool. You know, I know that they've made droid ones cause I have a BB-8 poly bag. It would be cool to have one of just Chopper, right? I think that would be really cool. Heck Thor underscore underscore, any plans to collect the upcoming Harry Potter Lego sets, Hogwarts Great Hall, etc. I haven't heard anything about Hogwarts Great Hall, but seeing as I have collected every Lego set that has released so far this year, the answer is yes. I'm definitely going to continue to probably to collect every Harry Potter Lego set that comes out the rest of this year. PNG underscore bricks. Have you started running out of space for Lego, especially now that you are in LAN? So I have been in LAN for 11 months. May, May the 1st was when I first got told I was accepted into the LAN and then sometime shortly after I announced it. Have I started running out of space? No. I haven't started running out of space. I've been running out of space for years, even in my last house. I have been in the state of collecting where I am constantly running out of space. And how do I fix that? I get rid of things. I donate things. I sell things. I Things that no longer serve me, things that no longer bring me joy. I think about things in the sense of, I do really love this thing, doesn't need to be represented in my collection. Do I love it any less because I don't have it in my collection? A lot of the Lego Friends wave from January 
I parted out entirely back into the back, separated it out. And I have a friend, a good friend of mine actually from my mother-in-law's church who has two young children who love Lego and love Lego friends. So I actually met up with them this past weekend and gave them, actually it was last week, and gave them my Lego friend sets. Not all of them, I kept Andrea's mansion, I kept the Mars set because I love it, and I kept Oliver and Paisley's houses because I just really love that set. Some sets that I gave her son were the the little armor mechs, and then the Spider-Man car and the Spider-Man motorcycle. I think you guys remember that review also from, was that January? Yeah, so I will donate my Lego sets or I have also parted them out into to the bricks that you see back here. That's what I do. At Insane PDX, do you ever miss your old job? Is social media influencer all it's cracked up to be? I don't know social media influencer, I don't know what it's cracked up to be, <laughs> to be honest. This is just something that I decided I could try to do because I think I'm good at it. And as far as missing my old job, I miss a lot of aspects of my old job. I miss dressing up for work. I think that's a really weird one, right? But I've been in law for 12 years. I built a pretty good, solid career in law. And so I had a lot of cool business casual outfits. I had my suits for when I had to go to trial. I had heels. I, I, I dressed really nice. I clean up very well, thank you very much. As far as the work, I was really good at it. There's a reason I did it for 12 years is because I was good at it and I continue to improve and learn things. Like the field of law is so big. Like I did litigation, I did in-house. Like I was good at it. I don't really, I wouldn't say I miss it. At marty.parasitch88, what other video games do you play besides Animal Crossing? Other than Animal Crossing, I'm really not a big gamer. I wanna say I love cozy games, but I really only play Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley that are cozy. Other than that, I play Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Those are literally the only games I play. <laughs> At BrickTrooper83 asked, what ship do you want Lego to make? Doesn't have to be Star Wars. I guess you could be talking about like, boats, but I don't really know much about boats. It'd be nice if they made Pirates of the Caribbean boats again, mostly because my husband loves Pirates of the Caribbean and all the Pirates of the Caribbean sets are so expensive now. So it'd be nice to see some of those come back or be redone. But as Star Wars, as Lego Star Wars has started making these mini scale ships, it would be really awesome to see a mini scale Venator. The ghost came in the cool, like I was a big fan of the mini scale Falcon. I know it wasn't for a lot of people, but I just love that the size of those sets. I would love to see a mini scale ghost ship. At nerd.sutton, can you rank the Star Wars movies by how much you like them? Okay, I feel like I have to like write stuff down. My favorite one is Return of the Jedi. I also love Revenge of the Sith. And again, you're gonna roast me, I don't care, The Last Jedi. So those are my like three favorite ones from each trilogy. Let's put Rogue One after Return of the Jedi. I'm assuming I can include Solo and in Rogue One. And then after The Last Jedi, let me see, Empire Strikes Back, A New Hope, the Force Awakens. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what do I have left? Rise of Skywalker, Solo, and The Phantom Menace. Oh wait, but I'm also still missing Attack of the Clones. So after The Force Awakens, actually after A New Hope, we'll do Attack of the Clones, and then The Force Awakens, The Phantom Menace, and then Rise, no, and then Solo, and then Rise of Skywalker. Okay, so let's see if this feels right. Return of the Jedi, Rogue One, Revenge of the Sith, The Last Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, A New Hope, Attack of the Clones, The Force Awakens, The Phantom Menace, Solo, Rise of Skywalker. That feels right. I wanna say roast me, but don't roast me. <laughs> It's just an opinion, okay? I love all Star Wars. At I am Felix Tam, how do you grow up your channel from scratch? I don't know if you're asking about Instagram or YouTube. This was a question that came in from Instagram. I'll start with, I am not a social media coach. Initially, when I started doing uh, paid subscriptions on Instagram, I was giving like tips and advice and things like that, but it was mostly like, hey, you ask me what you wanna know and I'll tell you what I did or what worked for me. So I can only tell you what worked for me. I never intended to grow. I was only on social media to share what I thought was cool things. I was like, I think I have cool things. I wanna take pictures of them because I like taking pictures of everything and post them on my Instagram. But I would post them on my Instagram. And my Instagram is private, my personal one. And like my friends, I don't have a lot of nerdy friends in real life. Um, you know, they just didn't care for it, which is fine. But I was just like, I kind of, I, it's, it's just that sense of connection, right? You want to connect with people. You want people who like the things that they're seeing to be like, oh my God, what a cool poster. Oh my God, what a cool lightsaber. So I just wanted to post things like that and post it somewhere it could be appreciated. And then I don't know, little by little, there was this demand for me to make more long form content, which is how I ended up on YouTube. There was a demand for me to live stream, which is how I ended up streaming on YouTube and then also on Twitch. The Twitch community, by the way, is 
so amazing, especially the Twitch Lego community. But yeah, I, I don't know how you grow your channel from scratch. I feel like a lot of things just happen to me on accident. I feel like a big part of it is that you have to be likable. I think I'm pretty likable. Sometimes I think I'm funny. I know haters in the comments are gonna be like, oh, a pretty girl on the internet, to which I say, no. You don't get to discredit all of the hard work I've done over the last a little over three years to just being cute on the internet. My looks have nothing to do with the work that I've put into my social media and building my community. So to put it short, if all you want is followers or views or likes, like a big number of them, you're gonna have a bad time, especially in the beginning because you don't get a lot of those things. And because I did not know what to expect, and like I said, I just wanted to post things, I was happy with the journey. I'm still happy with the journey. I hope that helps you. And I I think I'm gonna wrap it up there because I really did want to keep this to under 10 minutes so we'll see how long this is going for. Again if you've made it this far hit that thumbs up button it really helps my channel. If you like what you see I hope you subscribe I would love to see you here and again be sure to tune into my whatnot stream on Saturday where I will be selling some Lego goodies and I'm actually also going to be doing some giveaways. Check out the link in my description sign up get ten dollars to shop. If you want it on my discord become a YouTube member. I would love to chat with you all day long. Oh, and ask me questions in the comments for my next Ask Jean video. I promise it will not take two months next time.